long ago, or about 15 years, after a long-fought battle, the Kingdom of Wizards of the Coast released the final three series of the Pokemon trading card game that they would ever release. It was said that if one were to collect all three boxes, they would hold the ultimate power, the Holy Triforce of Geekiness. Countless attempts by spending paycheck after paycheck, people have failed until one brave lad stepped up. He braved each temple, besting the beast at the fire temple, demolishing the demon at the grass temple, and braving the water temple. Heck no, I'm done. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Now We're More Than a Channel Word community, and phew! That took a very long time, but I got them. I finally got the Triforce of Pokemon Booster Packs. That is an Expedition, a Quapolis, and a Skyridge Booster Box. But I have one other one that is an even bigger surprise, but I'm gonna show you each of the boxes right now because a lot of you guys asked me to update do an update video on my booster box collection after posting some pretty cool and neat photos on my Instagram, which you guys should go follow. Links in the description below. But I'm gonna get right into it. The first box is oh, a Expedition Base Set Booster Box. This is part of the E Series sets. Now, as the very nice narrator said, who wasn't myself saying that this was the first of the final three booster box series that wizards of the coast came out with for the pokemon trading card game there was like a bunch of legal disputes going on and thus the pokemon company was born and they created their own cards in-house so as you can see it has the wizards of the coast sticker on it get a little better look at it the, you know I think the boxes of this series are magnificent. And the artwork to boot is very, very cool too. Um, this box is worth several thousand dollars, probably around $2,000 if I would put a price on it, but they're always going up in price. So I'm gonna act, you know what? It's too, too valuable to just put right here. So I'm gonna put this back and we're gonna go, we are gonna go diving to find Atlantis with this aquapolis this was the first of the three e-series booster boxes that i got and this one's worth around three thousand us dollars um you can either find her for less or you can find her for more but these are becoming rare by the day and so i chose the e-series set to collect as opposed to the neo series set which i believe there's four in that one those are very cool don't get me wrong it's a very cool series and everything but i thought these these were just so rare and so shiny and you know me i love shiny things and then here it is the one like this is almost a crown jewel but a sky ridge booster box it's emerald shiny green the color of money or the color of awesomeness i mean this one took a very long time to finally get but ooh, it's so shiny and sparkly but I finally got it. Got to be very gentle. This one's also worth around 3000 but probably a little bit even more than that, I would say, as this is the rarest one out of the three of them. So I am very excited to finally add this to the Leonhardt family, the Leonhardt collection, a Sky Ridge booster box. Don't worry, I'm not opening it for you collectors out there. Now... Here it is, make sure, am I, I'm not even in focus here. Come on, all right, here we go. The coup de gras, if you thought those three were good, and now we have the Triforce. Get rid the squash bug on my wall over there. Get ready for this. 
This is a Legendary Collection Booster Box. Yes, I am proud to say I finally got this lovely, lovely holy grail of the Pokemon card collection now in my collection. A sealed mint booster box of Legendary Collection. This was only printed in English, no Japanese cards. And now I have a box of it. This one's worth at least $3,500 to $4,000 US dollars. I mean, just look at it. And this is essentially just a reprint of like base set and a few other sets. And it became like the most popular, valuable English set. Pretty much the rarest booster box there is, other than a first edition base set booster box, which is going for like probably ten to thirteen thousand dollars now, if not more. Those things are rare air. But there it is, a legendary collection booster box. I'm very proud to say this is also part of the family. So I hope you enjoyed an update of my collection. Please let me know if you would like me to show more of my collection. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this, especially the introduction at the beginning. My name is Leonard. Stay awesome, stay positive, and as always, I'll see y'all in my next video.